Hey everybody, so this is going to be another first impressions on a BB cream. This is the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau BB cream. I just got a sample here from Sephora, but I wanted to try it out. So there it is there. Before I begin, I'm just going to tell you a few claims about this. Now this is a really pricey BB cream. It's definitely not something that I would just buy myself without trying out. Um, I probably wouldn't honestly spend this much on a BB cream even if I did love it, just putting it out there. The price of this is $75. Now that's Canadian, so it's gonna be cheaper in the US, I'm guessing maybe around $60, so it's a pricey BB cream. Um, it comes in three shades, light, medium, and dark, so there's not a lot to choose from, although it does say it has color correcting properties in it. So it does say, Guerlain's new BB cream is a multi-action skin perfecter which offers skin protection with SPF 30, hydration and color correction while evening skin tone with a fresh lightweight texture. The Biofusion Micro Mesh combination of linen and silk fibers, I have never heard that before, creates a second skin effect to boost the natural beauty of the skin as hyaluronic acid intensely hydrates for a younger looking complexion. The benefits are proven with staggering results over 97% of subjects experience fresh and beautiful skin all day. And the full size is 1.3 ounces. So it is more than a typical foundation, you do get a bit more product, but like I said, it is pricier. So I'm just going to jump now to the clip of me applying it for the first time. Alright, to start off, the shade I have here is Natural, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be a good match, but it actually worked out pretty well. It's got a little bit more color than when I'm completely pale, but I still had a bit of tan left. The consistency is very thin in consistency. It's not the thinnest I've experienced, but it is quite runny. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that it's very pigmented. Um, a little bit definitely goes a long way, and I feel like I have a bit too much, actually. As I'm rubbing it in, it rubs in super easily. It blends right into the skin and covers up everything that I need it to. I decided to use my fingers for application because I find that's the easiest with BB creams, and for this, it was none, no different. It went on beautifully. It all evened out and blended in really nicely. So here is the finished face prior to powdering. As you can see, it does have a little bit of a glow to it, a little bit more on the dewy side. Once I powder it down, it does go away a little bit, but it's covered up everything. Um, this is a pretty full coverage BB cream, and I think it's making my skin look beautiful. All right, so here is the BB cream now with the rest of my makeup on top. All I did was put on the NARS Crystal Translucent Setting Powder right on top, and then a bit of blush. My blush does have a bit of glow to it, but as you can see, I'll come in closer. It's definitely not a matte finish, but now that I put powder on, um, it's not super dewy either. Maybe a little bit in the forehead region there, but generally it's just like a nice, natural, um, healthy looking skin, almost like a spring glow. It's very beautiful, color match, couldn't be more perfect. I feel like it went on darker and it adjusted lighter because of those color properties in it. It did adjust to my skin. On the skin, it feels weightless, feels like nothing, um, doesn't feel sticky, it dried pretty well right away. I am just really impressed with this. Why do the good ones always have to be so expensive? I have found ones that aren't so expensive that are good, but um, yeah, I think it looks beautiful. I'm going to wear it throughout today. I'll check back at the end of today and show you what it looks like, but so far it holds up. It looks just like any of my good foundations, so I will check back at the end of the day. I thought I should also let you know the time. It is currently 11.01 a.m. Hey everybody, so it's now been about seven hours. It's currently 5.55. It's been a crazy day, like every day in my life. I've got a baby in my arms. Cause she wanted to join us. But uh, as far as the makeup, coming close, maybe I'll look in the mirror. I have not powdered my face at all. I am looking quite shiny. I'm seeing in my mirror here quite a lot of oil and you know what that started probably around the three or four hour mark. It started pretty quickly. Um, I've been I guess touching my nose and it just like completely wiped off the side of my nose there. My chin which always I rub I think you know holding a baby. I've got some breakouts happening t there too. Um, but I think she rubs there too and it just wiped right off. The color still looks good. It didn't oxidize at all so that's good. Um, the blush stayed on really well, but I mean for the for the shine issue and the way it's just kind of wiping off and I'm only at the seven hour mark, it's not even like a typical, you know, eight hour day. This is definitely not my favorite, which I'm not sad about because of the price of this. Um, I think if you were gonna, if you wanted to be spendy and try it out, 
and you only wanted a product for a couple of hours or so, then it might be up your alley. But um, there are so many other BB creams out there that perform just as well and last longer and are cheaper. So that's my opinion on this BB cream. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye.